outside with a thing. We outside with a clip. Fuck, bang. We outside with a gang. We outside with a clip. Fuck, bang. All right. I'm back outside. Who am I side with? Who you outside with? Who am I side with? You outside with Big P from Big P Production Company. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. Big P from Big P Production Company. Hey, glad to have you on the platform. How about that? Thank you for having me. You know what I'm saying? I should get like a round of applause. Throw that in there. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Go and handle that. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get right into it. Okay. Now, the first question I like to pop this thing off with is, how is your mental health? Whew. Um, Right now... It's a little nerve wracking, you know. Everybody antsy, anticipating, and ready for the show. So they on me. When it drop? When it drop? Fast. So my mental health is like trying to stop myself from rushing for them, basically. Right. Yeah. Hey man, they want a great product, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to cook it. If they want you know a great mean? product, they got to give me time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they got to let you cook it. You know. All right, so for people that is in a, a slump right now with their mental health, you know what I'm saying? Get them some advice. On how you stay level, you know what I mean? Um, I just feel like I'm a strong-minded person, and I know everybody's not the same. But uh, me, I just wake up and tell myself just positive affirmations all the time. Um, and I just feel like if something going bad in my life, that's just what's going on right now. It may not be going on tomorrow, the next day, the next day. And if it is, I'm still not going to let that get the best of me. Because one day you're here, the next day you're gone. And I'd rather be happy when I leave here. So... So, look, <laughs> Come on. baby, if it ain't somebody that died close to me, I I really don't care about it. So my mental health and to them, just try to find the positive in whatever going on. It don't matter if it is negative, find some positive in it. Hey, that's some great advice. Hopefully, the people take the advice that people be giving on the platform, man, because you know people be going through it. Now, the question that I have is it's it's a big question. You know, people answer the question, they just say yes. But the question is, are you happy? I'm happy with who I am in my life and my mental. Um, I'm not happy because I feel like I have more work to do. I feel like I can push myself harder. I'm not happy with the procrastination that is still over me, and I pray that God take that away from me. But overall, I'm definitely happy with my life, the mindset that I have, the drive that I have, and the determination I have. So with that, yeah, I'm happy. But as far as my work, I could do a little bit more. All right. And that's very honest. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate that. Now, let's get into it. For the people who don't know who is P with the Big P Productions, explain to them what you, what you, what do you do, you know what I'm saying, so people won't know. Because they might think, I got a rapper in my chair. You know, you got to break it down. Well, no, I, I got in a different lane. I didn't want to rap. I didn't want to sing. I didn't want to do hair. I didn't want to do lashes. Right. I wanted to be a producer. Mm. So I'm a producer, writer, editor. I produced my own reality TV show called Ghetto Fabulous. Um, I wrote the script. Well, I wrote the show. It's not a script. I wrote the show out and how it was supposed to go. And I edited some of my cast call, but I did give the edits out to somebody else. I don't want that coat. <laughs> I, gave that, <laughs> I gave that hat coat, whatever it is, out to somebody else because that does take a lot. But I would like to say I'm, I'm a producer. Mm producer it goes with the p yeah you know what i'm saying p for, b, p, p for producer <laughs> p for producer you know what i'm saying all right so let's let break it down uh for the people who don't know where you're from give them a little insight of where you're from i am born and raised from macon georgia um all my life i've been here in macon i've never moved anywhere i've since a child like i said since a jit Mm. I've been raised here in the make in Macon, so real Macon native, real real Macon native. <laughs> West side of Macon, you know what I'm saying? We got that. Uh, so the girl is very well rounded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to school on the east side, elementary school. I went to Burdell, Burdell Hunt. Okay. Then middle school, I went to Appling, but then high school, that's when it goes to get a little shaky. Mm. I went to Northeast, I went to Southwest, I went to Central, I went to alternative school, and Jesus. I graduated from Baldwin. Now, 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 give me some insight on why you went to all these different schools. We moved a lot. Okay. We we moved once okay. my mama got tired of staying there, and we moved. It was always on a different side of town. And then we used to be like, well, mama, we want to go meet some new people. So right. she would find us a house on a different side of town so mm -hmm. we can go meet some new people. That ain't because you putting hands and feet on people now. Yeah? No, nah, we didn't start putting hands and feet on people okay. until... <laughs> 
like later on in high school. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until that was about eleventh right. grade. We, 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 we'll get it to. I wouldn't even be P. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> we was developing P. Come De- on, developing her lowercase P. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. For the people who not from where you from, you know what I'm saying. Um, paint them a picture on your environment and you know your household as you was growing up and your you know your city. Uh, as far as my household growing up, I had a very um loving household. Um, I did have a one parent household. Shout out to my mother, Tonya Holloway. Mm. She held it down in the house with four girls. You know, in the house with four girls, we Jesus. all arguing. I'm yeah, talking fast. Not that, no, I'm saying oh. that's tough. Four girls. Yeah, we are arguing. We caddy. <laughs> you know, it's a house full of women. Um, so my house environment was definitely a great one. My mama definitely raised us to be strong, independent, stand on our own, and don't let nobody play in our face. Then they're just on period. Mm. Um, my environment around around the city, um, I feel like I'm very well known. I feel like a lot of people do like Penny. I'm going to say Penny because I became Big P now. But right. a lot of people did like me, um, and a lot of people grew to not like me. You know, my personality could be a bit big. Um, I could be a bit aggressive with some things. I am a Sagittarius. Y'all know we mouthy. Oh. Y'all know we say what we want to say, and a lot of people can't take and they just have to get the fuck on. <laughs> but Dang, that explains a lot. I, I feel like a lot of people love me, honestly. Yeah, we we love P. The uh, the Sagittarius explains a lot. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the the aggressiveness. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, Jesus, that's, all right. I ain't even into the signs and things of that nature, but. But every time somebody say Sagittarius, everybody. Yeah, like, yeah, don't yeah, do yeah. us I, like that. We're sweet. We're sweet people. Yeah, 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 for sure. Y'all <laughs> sweet to the people who sweet to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Scare exactly. like that. Scare like that. All right, so we getting into like getting into your your high school. So when you was in high school, what was your goals and aspirations before you had the current ones that you have now? My goals and aspirations in high school, um, I actually wanted to be a teacher. Mm. Um, but then my background with being in high school. And like we said, I had done got the scrapping a couple of times on, when I was in high on. school and got a couple of mug shots. <laughs> so they went and let me up at those folks' schoolhouse. <laughs> so when I got ready to go to college, um, I wanted to be a dental hygienist. I wanted something that I knew was going to bring me in the bag and I wanted a like professional career. But then when I got in my classes in like biology and stuff, it didn't fit my personality. Right. And so that's when I dropped that and I started doing mass communication. Mm-hmm. So I had started taking my um, public speaking and all that type of stuff. So, you know, I felt that that was a great fit for me. Um, I did go to the Fort Valley State University. I'm not an alumni. I did not graduate. Once again, I was out here in these streets, you Come know, on. bop, bop, bopping. <laughs> so they had to release me. <laughs> Bop, they bop, had to bop. release me. Man, let's dive into these bops. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> bop, bop. <laughs> let's dive into these bops. You say you've been in, you've been in cause you've been in jail, right? What what happened to land you behind them bars? Fine. Mm. Um, I was the oldest person in um our group. We had this little group growing up. If you know, you know. If you don't, it ain't mm. your business. Um, but we had this group and we did used to get challenged a lot. Um, so, and I was the oldest of the group. I actually was the first person to turn 17. And so mm-hmm. I was the person that, person that did, uh, excuse me. I was the person that did carry a lot of popularity. Mm-hmm. So people would always say penny them. Yeah, penny them. And so anytime anything happened, anytime any one of them did anything, they would say that I led them to do it or I told them to do it because I was the group leader. Mm. And which that wasn't true. Everybody had miles of their own. Everybody was strong will women. Hell, I might say, go do this. Them bitches be like, you do it. <laughs> so it wasn't that. So I spent a lot of time taking the fault for my little sisters, basically. So was the Holloways moving treacherous out here? That's what it seemed like. The Holloway was standing on business. <laughs> the Holloway was standing on business that they wanted to curate with us. I think they just wanted some energy from the Holloways. You know, everybody always, you know, that big eight shit. Holloway shit or no shit. You feel me? And they wanted some little, they, they wanted some shit. Holloway energy. That's they all I can say it. about it because we didn't really bother people. Okay. Um, I think everybody could count. They knew it was four of us. They knew if you mm-hmm. hit one, the mm-hmm. other three was coming. They knew that with one of us, she at least got a friend, and she got a friend, she got a friend, so what, that made eight plus. 
So you could count. I guess they just thought they were bears. So any one on ones? Can we recall the any one on ones? No. Nah, yeah, it was a one on one. We one group. Okay, I'm, I'm saying like we one group, but we come as one. Just, so we just couldn't pop off on one of y'all. We had to fight out. Nah, you pop off on if you pop off on one of us, you might as well pop somewhere where it just them by themselves. Okay. Now somebody did pop off on me by myself before, but they jumped on me. So I had to catch you still, you yeah, jump, they y'all still caught me by phone, myself. They work, they but that. we did not okay. start with anybody. Okay, okay, okay. These were people that wanted issues with us, or if they started with one of our homegirls. And we be like, okay, when we see you at such and such party this weekend, right? Ooh. we finna handle that business. Not the party. Yeah, at the party. We <laughs> finna the party. everybody shit. At the block party. I'm finna get my man. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so here's the thing, though. What's the root cause of these situations? Was y'all fighting over niggas? Go. <laughs> Sometimes it was niggas. <laughs> Sometimes it was niggas. Uh, one of my... Um, fellow members might have snatched one of they niggas up. Okay. Might was dancing on they niggas that wanted a party or something. Right. And they wanted smoke, and we gave them what they were asking for. Mm. Sometimes it was because I don't like you. I probably just got to argue. You said something I don't like. Now we back and forth. Now the group, no. Now we got to handle that business. You wouldn't even believe some people used to write us on MySpace. MySpace was out Come back on. then. We, we back there. And they used to be like, when we see y'all at the party the weekend, we want to hit to see who group come the hardest. Hey, like, what? This but, is making shit, you know, shit, we were y'all. young and treacherous, so we was on it. <laughs> this is making shit at its highest, right? Yeah, real making shit. <laughs> <laughs> you we know were on it. <clears throat> so, basically, is it has it ever been pressured by the nigga? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. If we want that nigga, you finna come up off that nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what he got that the last one didn't have? Because all the niggas do the same shit. It might be something that that nigga might be saying to me. Okay. You, your nigga might not be, you know, solidified okay. and over there with you 100%. He done said something to me. He ain't acting like he got no female. We done mm. chopped it up. I like the, I like the vibes. Okay. Um, And come up off on. Come up Hand off me phone. that. Okay. That's very aggressive. Very Sagittarius energy. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so getting into your, your sisters, they... They are doing their own thing and they own right. Mm-hmm. Shout out, shout out to them, man. You know what I'm saying. Definitely shout out to my sister. Um, I I know two of them. I don't know the the fourth one, mm-hmm. but I know Mimi and I know Naomi. Yeah. Right. I don't know the fourth one. Is she is she popping her shit on the internet too? Or is she just quiet? Okay, so her name is Naomi. <clears throat> The, the other one that see, look, I see, look, my bad. No, my, like you my don't bad. know me I had to correct it Ooh, she like gonna, you don't know She was gonna me. check me About why I ain't check you Ooh When she see this But I don't wanna fight the Holloways Okay I'm sorry <laughs> Run that back uh, not, Know me Know me <laughs> Let's do it Okay go <laughs> Go <laughs> But uh, our, our uh, She's actually not The fourth sister She's the third sister Okay She's older than Mimi Mm-hmm. She have always been the one in the group that's quiet, the one that's laid back, the one that's really to herself. I don't know, right. is that a Virgo thing? Because she is a Virgo. That's, that's um, what but, it is. Or is that just a Sky thing? Mm-hmm. But um, my sister have always been rare reserved. She has always been not in the forefront, but she have always been the one that once we get to thumping, oh you're going to feel her. <laughs> Yo, y'all. Y'all just been beating bitches up. Like, what's going on? We don't on do that no more, y'all. We don't <laughs> do that anymore. Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, y'all bosses now. Yeah, y'all we bosses is, you know now. What I'm glow. Y'all on different, y'all on different timing. Okay, that's that's awesome, right? Um, <laughs> at, least, <laughs> at least at least we move away from that. I right, saw so high school. We graduated, man. Uh, we was thinking about you know being a dental assist, assistant, right, mm-hmm. of some sort, right? Um, what got us into wanting to be with production? After you know went to college and then they kick you out of college apparently, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we, they really we gonna, didn't we kick me double. out. I left because them boys came looking for me. Who came looking for you? Them boy. Who? Them, them folk. Them, them folk. The folks yeah. in the blue. Y'all they came looking for me because okay, because okay, this okay. girl had did my hair mm-hmm. and I did not like it, mm. and she thought she was gonna keep my money. So I broke in her arm. I kicked her arm door in when she opened it to her dorm. And she didn't give me my money, so I took her laptop, and they said that I um, strong arm um, robbed her. So, mm. yeah. I I mean, that that is so Sagittarius of you. Like, I this didn't is think that it was a robbery. I just thought that I'm standing on business <laughs> giving sta- me my money. I don't like my hair. You standing on business way back before standing on business was standing well, on business. Yeah, I, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> and this solo dolo, we ain't even had the other We sisters. ain't had the other folks. Yeah, I'm oh. down, and I'm trying to do right now, but somebody <laughs> had me messed up. Jesus. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, so them folk came looking for you up out of there, right? Right. Whoa. And so I came home. I just started working jobs, and then I became mm-hmm. a bartender. Right. And so I enjoyed bartending. That was a great little time in my life. Um, mm-hmm. Then I started coaching a dance team. Right. Um, I coach FADD, still coach FADD. We'll be going in our 10 years um, next year on Hello. April 20. Well, this year. This year will be our 10th year. We started in 2014. So I started coaching the dance team. And then we ended up, uh, our dance team started being that team, one of those teams in the nation. Right. So Bring It was out. And so we started getting on Bring It and um, started getting on Bring It and filming and stuff. So once I started seeing how, it, it, it looked easy, but it really kind of was like, I wasn't just thinking about it like that, but it was like easy. Okay, this is what they do. Right. It don't just happen like this. You have to, da, da, da. it ain't just real time right then. So I would kind of get an idea. So, but I didn't move towards it. It still didn't pop in my head as my idea then. Right. And so uh, later on down the line when they didn't have their show, no, when they told us that we had the highest views on Excuse me. The highest views on Bring It, mm-hmm. we decided, hey, look, if we got the most views on Bring It, we might as well have our own show. Makes sense. So we tried that for a moment, but with the dance team, you got parents. Right, right. And you got parents that are entitled to their kids, and they feel like their kids need to do this. They kid need to be in the front. They kid need to be, because everybody can't be casted on the dance team. Right. So they started getting beside themselves. They started doing too much, so I let that die down. Because that was with us having somebody else come in. But it still didn't pop. Get your own Get reality your own. TV show that come ain't even on. this. Because I still was trying to do a spinoff from a dance team. I mean, a dance show. And so, uh, ended up not doing that. So, I was like, I'm going to do it. On. So, I started working on TikTok. Mm-hmm. So, once I started saying that I can edit real good. I know what to record. I know what to get. Um, I started getting heavy on my TikTok. And then I ran my TikTok up to 100K followers. Mm, big time. And so, yeah, follow me on TikTok, Penny.Holloway. Hello. Big P, type both of them in. <laughs> but um, so I had hit 100K on TikTok, and my dance team had started going through some things um, with the members and stuff. So that kind of fell back. One day, I, I went and got another job. So I'm riding to work one day, mm-hmm. and God was just like, hey, I was like, yeah. He was like, I got some for you. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what's up? He was like, a reality TV show. And I was like, hmm? Mm. He was like, yeah, a reality TV show. I was like, God, stop playing. <laughs> so he was like, yeah, you going to be the producer, you going to be the writer, it going to be your show. And I was like, all right. He gave me the vision. So then I sat around, I thought about it for a minute, and then I was like, I started saying it verbally out of my mouth. Hey, I want a TV show. And they was like, what you going to do it on? I still didn't know yet. Right. Then one day God said, Yo city lit. I said, you know what? My city fucking lit. They lit as fuck. It is lit <laughs> as fuck. My city sound <laughs> different. Don't nobody talk like us. Shh. Nobody act like us. Don't nobody use the same slang that we have. I don't even know another city that got a 24 like making guy. I, mm-hmm. I just it just was so much stuff about making that I just felt like that the world deserved to see. So that's when I came up with I'ma do it in making. Then my thought came with, what I'm going to do it about? So then you got your Sexy Reds, you got your Suki Hunters, you got your Cardi B's, you got all these folk becoming famous. Love them. Ghetto family. Mm. Ghetto. We got to do it. Ghetto. We got to do some ghetto shit. They got all the show for the classic girl. They got the basketball wives. They got love and hip hops. They got the housewives. They got the selling these houses. They got everybody that rich already. Right, right. They ain't got nobody on the come up. So let's do ghetto fabulous. Let me g- gather ghetto girls, because once y'all heard from my story before, I was a ghetto girl. Mm-hmm. I'm in parties. I'm fine. We mean up. We find over niggas. Standing on we doing all these. We in the clothes. <laughs> we hen with folk. Ghetto. So, but then I'm like, look at you now. So mm-hmm. that's when we going to do the ghetto fabulous, because you got a background of both. Right. So God said, that's your line. How that business? And that's what I'm doing. Man. That's an amazing story. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Great transition. You know what I'm saying? Like, to have that click in your brain. On the way to work. God sending that message He to said, you. I don't want you to work no more. Look, <laughs> stay at work for a little while and, yeah. and curate this right here. 
I mean, you still, you still got to handle that business. Still got to handle you know that business. I'm still at work. I'm still working yeah. until it blow. I ain't done. I ain't like, I got a reality show. I ain't finna be working for nobody, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it gonna do. I'm gonna still be working until it do what it do. You but I got faith it in it, though, for sure. All right, so when we started creating this show, what what clicked in your mind for the people that you wanted to involve? As far as, like, people behind the scenes, like, um, even having a certain, the, the, the panels of judges that you use, right? And probably the people that's behind the camera we don't even see. Mm -hmm. What made you select these few people to like help you on your journey? Okay, so uh, with as far as my network and stuff, like you saying behind the camera and those people, um, I work with a friend of mine, Perry Clark. Mm -hmm. Um, I know making may know Perry. He do podcasts and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Perry. I just seen Perry was one of the first people that I actually seen doing podcasts and with cameras and stuff. Come on. So I and I noticed that Perry had been in different places. Me and him been knowing each other since elementary school. Come on now. And so I just went up to him and I was like, Hey Perry, I'm, I I want to do such and such and such. Who you know? Da 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 da. So he was like, I'll link you up with these people. They got a new network. I think y'all will be great for each other. So right. I linked with them. I went in now. I pitched the show. How did that be in it? They were ready. Perry's a great middle man. Right. <laughs> as far as, so with them, they, you know, they did a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I did hire some. I actually went on Facebook and was like, hey, I got a TV show that I got. Come. No, I posted the my infomercial first. Right. And so then when I posted my infomercial, that's when I went to looking for a videographer. So I posted a post online. Mm -hmm. And so I got some videographers to come to my casting call. No. That I'm wrong. I'm lying. I'm lying. Okay. I'm lying. Okay. Let me then go back. back. Let me back. go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go fucking back. Go back. I said I wasn't going to do this, but fuck y'all. Fuck them. I reached out to videographers in Macon, Georgia, that I felt like this would be a great opportunity for them. Okay. And for which I felt like everybody was going to be making nights Up on, on, this, on this shit. Come on. That could go real wide. I ain't seen nobody else. With no shit that's worldwide. I just, I haven't seen I didn't say that they doing it, but yeah. I just haven't seen nationwide, whatever, because the network I'm on got 400,000 viewers already, subscribers today. So I came to them feeling like, hey, I got a, I got a project for y'all. Let's do this, whatever. So mind you, none of these people never did reality TV before. Right. So I know they don't know the formula for or anything. Mm -hmm. So I, would, I was expecting for people to, work with the project right because y'all are in inexperienced yeah you hold your camera doing videos but it's not the same right 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 so i had some ridiculous offers or what they wanted from me and so i declined right um and they still fucked them because they tried to give me fuck nigga fees and i don't fuck with that mm. but i see them following up behind niggas for free Mm. I, everybody in your stuff is niggas like, but get off that that's too much I ain't build her cause I got somebody great I swear to god I'm glad y'all said no we still got I'm that, so we, glad y'all said no we still got that demon we still in got that demon so then I <laughs> <laughs> so then I found somebody else okay. that said that they were gonna be my project my project my producing manager mm -hmm. production manager that's production, the word production man. manager come on a couple of days before my casting call, they told me that I had their stuff together. Mm -hmm. They told me, I told them last minute, but we had been working on their project since July. Right. I didn't shoot till September. How was that last minute? I don't fucking know. Okay? <laughs> so, he dropped the ball on me two days before. So, right. that's when I had to get on the internet and was like, hey, I got this TV show, videographers, tap in. Right. That is why my casting call looked fuzzy the way it looked a little bit. Not saying that it wasn't great content, mm -hmm. but it wasn't great quality. And I knew that ahead of time. Right. But I wanted my judges to, because on the show my judges weren't going to be on there. Mm -hmm. But I wanted my judges to get what I what I told them that they would get, what I promised right. them they would get, and that's to be on the platform and to be on national television. Right. And so I wanted to get them there. So we called those folks in, you know, with different cameras, it's not going to look the same. Oh, yeah, so we had sure. to do the best that we could and take the best clip, the best. I, I had, I went how, through how, it. How, you beat me to the point. I was going to ask about that production of the um, casting car, of the casting car mm -hmm. right? Uh, how, how did you get that to the, the people that's on the out? Did they approve of this or did they was like, you know? It's all me. It's all um, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, they felt like, because they, they, they actually felt like that they didn't want to do it because it wasn't that good of quality. Right. Um, and which, if you seen when it dropped, my casting call and my teaser dropped in the same day. Right. 
because I had to come up with a solution. That's me, a solution. To try to make them like. The, to make them see on. that this yeah. is the casting call, but the actual season it looked, looked like this. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. So right here we had issues. Mm -hmm. Right here we got it together. Right. And it's my first time. And I right. and I seen a lot of people out there like if y'all y'all think they're gonna be perfect the first time, y'all crazy. So I respect those folk that knew mm -hmm. that this is the folk first time ever doing it, the first time something like this coming to make it, they had to get it together. Yeah, and yeah, which yeah. I did. And which I already knew looking at the first footage that it went right. Because right. I am a woman of quality, I feel like myself. And I wanted my content to be of quality but for my judges and for them to see how these girls actually got on the show i wanted everybody to see that that's a fact and so i had to run the cast and call as far as my judges and my host y'all everybody know jeremy t with my host hello hello <laughs> hello <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm so i had to get him Meet jeremy um t. So Jeremy T came out. Y'all know Jeremy T did his big one. Um, I needed him to be the host because y'all know he the voice of the streets for making Georgia. And so I had got Jeremy. And then I had, um, I knew a lot of my judges from being people that were around the city that I felt like were ghetto fabulous too. Right, right. And so, uh, you know, Courtney Waters, that got her own boutique right from Bloomfield. We got Shalana Jones that being some, a fashionista in Macon, Georgia for a long time, been North in high school. She actually, Shalana actually used to be, you know that girl that you look up to in high school? She was that for me. Oh, cool. Yeah, on. I was a freshman, she was a, a senior. She used to come through the school. Every outfit that bitch used to wear to school. I used to be like, Put that shit I on. I want to be like, oh, Put that she shit got on. that shit on. <laughs> that shit. Um, and she was pretty too, so, and she hoop. So, love that about Shalana, she always been popular. Um, Lisa Lowe, you know, Lisa Lowe popular on the internet, whether they like her or not. The girl Hello. popping her shit on the internet. <laughs> um, with, and then Bad is making money. She did something big for the city. I wanted people that had stuff going on right. in the city, too, as well. And Shalanda used to have her own store aboard the brim. Mm -hmm. So I knew that they knew about business. And all these folks, I feel like, had a back, well, not all of them, because some of them didn't have the same background, like from Bloomfield or from, you know, the east side or the hood, like us. Right. Um, my best friend, Rick. <laughs> That's my best friend. He's a Gemini. <laughs> you know, Sagittarius and Geminis are uh, soulmates, actually. For sure? Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. And so I had to have him on there because he's just so fucking animated. Yeah. He was the one with the long dreads. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, you I know, met, he the I, one I that him. popped it the most on the show. And I knew that what he was going to do because I know his character. Mm -hmm. Rick is a teacher. Rick is a counselor. He's my partner with my dance team. Right. So I knew that, you know, he got fabulous with him, too. Mm -hmm. Um, Jalisha Gillian. She be online, she be popping it, she always got it on and stuff too. And I like the way she ain't scared to say what she wanna say. Mm -hmm. You know, um, who else I had? Pooh Bell. Pooh Bell. Pooh Bell, Devon Frazier. <laughs> Everybody know Pooh Bell. <laughs> He'll voice on the street too. We no, got action, one. baby. We got action. So I had to have Pooh Bell pull up, see the action going on. Pooh Bell gonna say what the fuck he wanna say too. Every time. So I definitely had to have, I had to have some judges with personality. That yeah, was scared yeah, of these yeah, hoes because yeah. I knew I'm bringing ghetto bitches <laughs> to the forefront. So they couldn't be scared to be on these hoes ass. So that's why I definitely brought folks like um, Pooh Bell. I had um, Bird. No, Bird, I don't know if you know Bird, but Bird okay. gonna pop her shit. We grew up with Bird, too. Bird was in Demi Mall, too. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we, I knew Bird was gonna pop it. I know Bird was gonna say what she wanna say. And then I had my friend London. You know, she a little short. They work at Vibes. Come on. She a short, little feisty motherfucker. Mm. So, I know she was gonna be the bougie when real with the fabulous, like, ill, like, uh-uh. Right. Type. So, that's how I picked my judge. That is a lot Oh, of... and I had Andrea Jackson. Jesus Let's Christ. not forget Andrea Jackson. Let's not forget. Um, I knew Andrea Jackson, um, <laughs> Um, she been somebody that's been holding the city down for a long time. Real good stuff going on with her. That girl, that lady been having stuff going on for years, like ever since I was a teenager. Fact. And I know she be popping her shit on the internet, you know, telling folk where to go, what to do. She know all the hot spot, all the hot shit going on. She know when folk got their shit together when they looking to par. And Andrea was a little messy. I love that about <laughs> her. She was going to get her to hit. So that's how I definitely pick my judges. And then behind the scenes, too, Know me, my sister. She was mm -hmm. who I trusted the most. I had to have her on scene. I really don't trust too many people like that, especially right. with your ideas and stuff that you have going on. I don't trust people, so I had to have somebody that was close to me. And my sister know that I'm a crybaby. 
Mm-hmm. Don't let that fool you. But all Sagittarius are. And so I had yeah. to have somebody that I knew that when I look back, it was going to be somebody there to tie me the fuck up. Like, girl, please. Put that, get yeah. that shit together. Put, put it together. Yeah. Put on. that fire in my head. And but she, you know, my sister owned her own shop too. So I knew that she knew what was going on. Business. She know the I business. knew she knew about business. Yeah. She, you know the, she when it comes to biz, anything business that got to do with ghetto fabulous. If y'all need y'all business, honey, if y'all need anybody to strategize y'all business and get it in line, book Norman Malone for real. That's it. Not because she's my sister. Because with this project, she went my sister. She right. was my operation manager. Period. Mm. She let that sister shit go out the window for real. Hello. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's tough though. That's a lot of judges. Jesus Christ. That's like a football. So, Cause team. I had first <clears throat> round and second round. So if you didn't make yeah. it through the first round, you went getting to them second round judges. <sighs> In the second round judges, were there a tougher judge or like you put the tough judge in the front? I put I mixed them up. Okay. I felt like Pooh Bear was pretty tough. Okay. I felt like Shalonda was definitely tough. Mm. Um Bird didn't really say too much. Um, but in my second round, definitely the toughest ones. Okay, okay. Now I was watching it like did did um the first round, right? Some people that was at the second round, they wasn't at the first round. So did they have to go, did you cut that out or did they go through the first and then you just cut it out? Like what happened with that? I cut it. <laughs> you cut it. Okay. It was that, was that bad? Oh, Jesus footage Christ. wise. Oh, quality footage, wise. Quality wise. Not okay. what they did because what they did and said was everything. Mm. I actually was sad that I had to delete it out. But yeah, I had to cut it for quality. Yeah. Somebody camera went that. on point. So that, that's some insight people want to know. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was some good insight. Well, well, let's speak on like the feedback, right? So when you posted your how you want, uh, your auditions, mm-hmm. how was the feedback? Did you did you get a lot of positive feedback, or you got a lot of negative feedback? Or it was a mix. Like how you I feel got about the more reception? Positive than negative. <clears throat> um, but within my negative, cause you know we can always speak on the positive. Everybody happy about the positive. But within my negative, like I said before, I took the positive out of those negatives. Whatever issues that they said that was going on with the show that they didn't like, mm-hmm. I seen was it some hang ass bullshit. If it was by hater. Right. And if it wasn't constructive criticism that could help me be better, what's good? What else you got to say? Yeah. So that's why I posted a post that said, whether it's negative or positive, share it. Because I want to know what y'all think so I can make it better. I'm not a person that, oh, they hang on me. No. <laughs> you're hanging, you're just hating. Okay? Regardless. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, like, folk that was saying stuff about the quality and D girls faking and all that. Listen, nothing was staged. Right. Nothing was staged. If they... Turned around, they didn't fight each other for real. That was because of something that they didn't really want to do. Mm-hmm. Nothing was staged, nothing was scripted, even with the show. With a reality TV show, you have to write a script, meaning not a script. Well, you got to say this. Just like, scenes. Where's going to be at? Where's, taking where's place. Gonna be at? Matter. What's going to be? Yeah, you what's going to be said? What's going to be going on? What the girls doing? They at a party? They at the lake? They at right. this? So that's what that's what went on. Uh, as far as that script, <laughs> I ain't touch it. <laughs> that shit just let that shit fly. As anybody that was on that case, <laughs> did they see that laptop? Yeah. Just Them let that. girls did. They built one. Yeah, they just let Swear it fly. Now. But, so, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, I only seen two negative comments, though, so I was happy with the feedback. Now, that, that's great, though. You know, people. People like to hate in silence, too. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, might, they might talk amongst themselves versus type it on the internet. You know what I'm but, saying? But, you know, just like everybody yeah. else, they'll hate it first, then they'll bandwagon, so. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because I, I think um the the teaser was look like great footage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The like, teaser and everything else is great footage. Yeah, they, yeah, we ain't just, going back to cast the call. Yeah, yeah. We, we Mind y'all, like, I said, my production managers yeah, um, dropped not, me in two days. Two days. I had to get them folks in there in two days. But he spent the block on the on the actual show. No. Oh, you got another? Another whole another one. I wouldn't dare another. deal with nobody like that. Hello. He counseled. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he even counseled for a speak to in the street. Jesus. No, All right, so let's let's speak on this. So the people, the girls that y'all actually selected, right? Mm-hmm. Um, who you think brought it the most? Like, who just came in there like standing on everything? I'm gonna have to say, watch the show. I gotta mm. say, why? I don't want to give y'all too much. Okay, um, okay. but I'm gonna definitely. Say watch the show. <laughs> you got to watch the show to see that. Damn, she hit me with a, a corporate answer. This is yeah, insane. You got, you got to watch the show to see that. <laughs> this is insane. I might give you another exclusive, but they got to watch the show for that. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so all right, the people want to know, why did Jeremy, Tr- Jeremy T intro the show like it was P-Valley? Like, what's going on with that? 
say the bitches and the hoes they selling their pussy for a fee and what 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 he get that script from and why do we intro it like that <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I wanted Jeremy to intro the show because Jeremy is the voice of the streets. <laughs> Big P ain't the voice of the street. Come on. Big P the producer. Mm. I wasn't trying to be in front of the camera. I wasn't trying to be a Natalie Nunn. Even though I did end up being in front of my show because I wanted a house mom too. So that was the part that Lisa Lowe was talking about, that she had a bigger role, but she declined it because of her job or whatever. She was supposed to be my house mom. I was supposed to be behind the scene, literally producing. I wasn't supposed to be on camera, but that's how I ended up being. But... I picked Jeremy T, like I said, because he is the voice of the streets. And my first one coming on, I wanted them to hear a familiar voice. Mm -hmm. Not that they don't know what I sound like, but they really know what he sound like. And I just felt like with him saying it and him doing it and him being a host, the first thing you see when the show come on, <laughs> you see saying. what the fuck going on. <laughs> that nigga said they selling the Selling. <laughs> what is he he be selling no, ass. What is going Bending on? women all in one. <laughs> What's that not true? <laughs> I ain't buying it. I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Not? See, Jeremy know more shit than we know. <laughs> Come on, man. It's good. So, it's some truth to Jeremy intro. <laughs> I played the intro like a couple times, bro. And I'm just like, Jeremy's insane. All right, so who's selling pussy on the show? Let's start there. Didn't, no <laughs> 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 Didn't nobody. I don't know who sold pussy. <laughs> I don't know who sold pussy while I was on the show. The producer was tired. I was working. Okay. I was here. I was there. I was asleep. I don't know. I don't know who was selling that. Y'all got to watch the show. The cameras probably caught some shit that I don't know about. Watch the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got some more questions. All right. So the, the people want to know, um, I guess this is what this group was called when y'all were doing treacherous things. Dismiss Mob. How did you get away from Dismiss Mob and elevate it? What is Dismiss Mob? Like, please explain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is an exclusive I'm going to give y'all because I do not talk about Demi Mob. That was in my past. You said like, it so fast. Say how you say how you said. This is Mob. Demi, Demi Mob. Demi Mob. I yeah. don't know what she's Demi saying. Mob. But it ain't See, what I'm reading. See, that's that making terminology okay. that I'm saying. I but boom. it's Dismiss. Dismiss. Like you're dismissed. Oh, that's hard. Get your ass whooped. Ooh. Now you dismissed. Whew. Mob. Damn. Yeah. We was a mob because there was a lot of us. And, bitch, we mob and we coming after the ass. <laughs> and after we get done, ho, you dismissed, bitch. Take your beat up ass on um, about your fucking business. But uh, dismiss mob really, it was a group of friends, really. We really was sisterhood. Everybody really were close. It didn't get... To, we didn't build a group to fight people. You you know every gangs always say even the Crip Bloods and the folk that they're sisterhood, that they're brotherhood, and we, we do this for development and but see, the better of people. I don't know what they got the Crips and Bloods and Mafias <laughs> together for, but this Miss Mom, we got together because we were a cheerleading team at first, honestly, okay. and then one day we had to handle some business for the homeboy that we had, and so after we handled that business. We wanted a group name. So we were like, okay, this going to be. No, one of our friend mama, every time she used to chump us out after we got in trouble, she used to be like, all right, y'all dismissed. Ooh. So we had to get out of the room now. So we were like, okay, that'll be a little catchy. So I, I love it. And then they brothers had a little group called Menace Mob. Mm. And so we liked the little mob word on the end. So <laughs> we named ourselves Dismiss Mob. <laughs> Are we bringing this Miss Ma back? Cause that is a crazy name. Like we. This Miss Ma came back for Shaw at two thousand party. Okay, for we Shaw popped back out. Okay, y'all popped back out. Yeah, okay. I, I seen the little. Yeah, I seen the little. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. But I how did that. I go from this Miss Ma to this Miss Ma Penny to okay. Big Peter producer? Hello. Growth, age, knowing, knowing better and doing better, and those incarcerations. Mm -hmm. Every time when I would get in trouble, my mama came to come get me. Right. So it never was a lesson for me. Right. It was always a my mom gonna save me. Yep. And until I got myself in a in a situation where she couldn't save me, mm. and I had to sit in that beach for thirty days. Hello. My hair went dead. My nails went dead. My outfit was ugly. My feet went dead. Did you base? Every day. <laughs> Every day. See, okay. I didn't do it okay. to make it. I had to do it in Millersville. See, Millersville <laughs> different to make me seem like a criminal. Hey. Come on, we we we, we done. Developed. Cause they gonna Google me anyways, that day. Yeah, I got questions. They asked you how many times you went to jail. Let's start there. They asked me that too. <laughs> they asked you that. <laughs> 
Googly. <laughs> Googly. Googly. But yeah, that and for real. Going 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 in my last time and, and and really seeing that that wasn't the life that I wanted when I came home. I and then this was mom started having kids. Mm-hmm. We really stopped the group when we got like eighteen or nineteen. Right. So a lot of them had to had kids. They started becoming moms and we started getting in trouble more because they started putting us in with the game task for coming to jump out on us at the house and stuff like that. Right. So we ended up like we got to turn a new leaf, y'all. We could be better than this. And as y'all see, all of us are we three sixty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every definitely last one popping of us it. actually. I'm definitely popping it now. All right, so um, the big question is when the damn show gonna drop? Cause niggas been waiting. <laughs> you know what do I'm both not want to give me a chance to get it perfect? <laughs> Jeez, or do y'all want me to put something out thing, there? Is it still editing this thing done? Are you just holding it just to be petty? Like, what's going no, on? No, I'm not holding it to be petty. I'm actually in the middle of edits. Um, okay. Y'all better give me a motherfucking chance we to get it right. We been y'all, right. See, like, you know how making it is. Making going to eat my ass up if it ain't perfect. <laughs> that one thing about my city. Making going to eat me yo if yeah. it ain't what they expecting it to be. But it's going to be on what y'all expecting it to be. And it's on me the reason why the show hasn't dropped. Because if it's something that I don't like, I'm not. I'm not producing it. I'm I'm not gonna go with it. Uh, my editor's thoughts is not my thoughts. So I'm going up this weekend to actually see the first three episodes, y'all. Okay. Golly. Okay. Three coming. So when I go up this weekend and I see it and I approve it and it'll be out there next week and then a week after that and a week after that. But if it's not right on this weekend, we got to wait another week, y'all. All right. Um, more questions. But soon come. <laughs> soon come. Okay. Uh, why wasn't Jeremy T a judge on the panel? Like, why he wasn't a judge? <clears throat> okay, what y'all didn't see for Jeremy T? Jeremy T was supposed to be a host and do what he normally do on his Facebook page and practically interview people for what they got going on. Right. Um, but well, again, with production that I had to cut, as y'all can see, when they talking to him, you can't hear anything. Right. He that cameraman up. didn't have their fucking mic on. Yeah, they, he wasn't mic'd up. Right? <laughs> he wasn't yeah. mic'd up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't play with Jeremy T. Actually did outside, and I'm sure they was, they were saying some good shit outside, but Ooh. I couldn't play it. So, that's why Jeremy T. wasn't a judge at first. Um, But as y'all can see, when I brought everybody back in for all the rounds, he was a final round judge once they got in there. So, he awesome. was both. All right. Um, Why did they do Jonah Bay like that? I think that was just their opinion of Jonah Bay. Mm. Um, I know that she may like to think that somebody set out to fuck with her, but I don't know you, little girl. Mm. You're nobody to me. You're like the dust up under my motherfucking shoe. Is and it beef? Like, what's no, it's not beef. It's running mouths. I don't like people to run their mouth. I don't like for people to lie. I don't like for people to go put false pretenses out on stuff that I need, saying that we're trying to make her a rival with my sister. Girl, you can't fuck with my sister with her eye closed and no words coming out of her mouth. Mm. Know that. So it was the way John Bay presented herself. Did you see her? Oh, I, I watched the show. So they were there to judge, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they judged her. Okay. That's what they judged. And honestly, if you see when John Bay came back, if I show you the unedited footage, I'm the one that wanted John Bay on the show. Yeah. Actually, I wanted. I felt like that I could have helped her when it came to her image and not going to no casting call with a dirty jumpsuit right. or a stiff ass wig. But she's. But as they say on the internet. She had a lot. She had to she take had care of before going. she got there. And she had. She had what going on before she got there. A lot of stuff to take care of before she got there. Do you know people? Y'all may not even care about that type of stuff. I know went to work before I got here. Okay. I ain't yeah. had this on. None of this. I scheduled my day. Had to had to put that shit on. I scheduled my day properly. That's why I was a little late. I got from work, went home, got my little do do do. With my little new outfit on for my show because I knew I was coming here. Why would I come here and look like I'm a property manager on this show? Mm. That ain't that ain't what's going on. We outside on here. We outside for real. Yeah, so <clears throat> why would she not have an extra outfit in the car if your jumpsuit got dirty? Mm. Why would, like, and as far as your hair, because that's what they said something about mainly, mm. that's, that was your hair do, period. But that's what you can't, like, and that's why I felt like I could help her. I could have gave her some of the insights. I'm not just saying these things because this is what Penn and Jay woke up one dude. No, once I knew better, I did better. That's and that's fact. the same thing that I wanted for a lot of my cast members. 
show y'all better so y'all can do better. Um, a lot of the girls, like I said, did come with their stuff already together. So those people also to help those girls know better than do better. And also for those girls to have them some ghetto fun like these ghetto girls because that's what's wrong with them. They they have a lot of fun and they ain't really standing on business like that. But they got potential. So I wanted to help them with their potential to stand on business. And these girls that standing on being the loosen up, bitch, have a little fun. Yeah, mm-hmm. ain't that wrong with having a little fun, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I want the mix to get on with the family. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, did you force your sister on the show, Mimi? No, I ain't forced her on the show. I actually didn't know she would come to try it. Mm. She told me that she wasn't. And next thing I know, she walked in with a number. <laughs> and she, I mean, you can see by Mimi's interview, she went forced to do anything. My sister, I ain't finna listen to what I got to say. Mimi mm. is a person of her own. If she didn't want to do it, she wasn't going to do it, big sister or not. That mm. was something that she wanted to do. She popped up and did, and I wanted her to do for her music and just for getting herself out there as well. That's what I wanted for her. But actually, the actual show, she must have wanted it for herself because she came and auditioned by herself. Because that was my sister. She would have never auditioned. I would have right. just wrote her on the show. Mm. All right. So um, are we going to have a reunion? Sure is. And Jeremy T. will be hosting the reunion. Jeremy T. Hustle Reunion. Yep. Let's go. Uh, why you didn't call We Outside? For who? The show? The, the show. Um, I didn't actually call anybody per se. Um, people reached out to me. Um, the person that I actually have on the project, though, I did call him. Um, I didn't know that We Outside do stuff like uh, production and film and stuff like that. I oh, thought we do you just everything. did podcasting. <laughs> we do everything. <laughs> so Movies now we know that we everything. outside do everything and we got season two. <laughs> season two, we are looking for more producers and videographers. You know like, <laughs> Look, because season two, we know we're going on. Season two, I know all the business <clears throat> I need to stand on and or handle. So that sound like we outside want to do, want to be in the credit for season two. Hey, man, we'll see. You we'll know see. What I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll, we'll see what's going on. I, I I love drama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now, nah, now. Nah. I don't be in the drama. I love entertainment. Yeah, you know entertainment. Let's yeah. yeah, say entertainment. Entertainment. Say That's entertainment. what it is. <laughs> Speaking of entertainment, transition to the next question. Who is the best entertainers in the city of Macon? To me? Yeah, to F-I-D-D. you. Come on. My dad team. Ain't team. nobody got a national title but F-I-D-D. Ooh, let's do it. Stout that, bookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you feel like the people support you? Like, do you feel like your city support what you do? I actually feel like I have an overflow of support. Mm. Um, I it's so heartwarming to be places and some people that I've never known or never spoke to me or anything walk up and speak to me. Um, even some girls that I talk to and they be like, "I love you, I love you, I can't wait Come to see on. the show." <laughs> and so it's just like it's it's very very heartfelt and very heartwarming. Um, so. Yeah, the city definitely supports. I think the city love it because it's something different. And it's actually putting the city on. And like I said, a lot of people love me. So right. I feel like a lot of people just supporting what I got going on. I'm okay. good to people. I give people a good time, good personality. Yeah, you got good vibes. You got good energy. Appreciate you know what I'm saying? Um, also, the people want to know, are you single? We gonna let this be an awkward pause. I'm gonna not say. We gonna let that one marinate. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Um. We gonna let that one. Yo, nigga, not acting right. That's what it sound like. If we ain't single, I don't have a why, boyfriend. Why are we posting online like we single? How I'm posting online like I'm single? Now that's just what the question saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How, how do you both like you're single? What's what's you single and in a relationship? Your man. Who is P's man? Even if I was married, mm. I wouldn't post my man. Okay. Talk I don't to need you. you in my business about my man. Ooh. Like you got to go on and mind your business over there. Mm-hmm. Too many people being people business about their man. And niggas be embarrassing too. I used to post my man though. Right, right. I really did used to post him, but he fucked up. Not my man. Okay. <laughs> 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 I used to pose. <laughs> so, I used to pose. Okay, okay. I pose. don't have a man, but I got somebody that make me smile. Hello. That sound like some P shit. Yeah. Hits I said somebody. I didn't say people. I'm just saying, it just I like said some somebody. Okay. She got somebody, y'all. Yeah, okay, when cool. I pop out, don't be looking crazy. So don't they can't be in the DMs or the DMs open? 
They could be in there. I don't okay, care then. what they do. They be they in there. They don't mean it. I'm in there with them. <laughs> what, what catches your eye if somebody send you a DM that want to holler at you? What catches your eye? You want me to give them game? I mean, I, I, you know, give them some. You know, I like be- funny stuff. Funny shit. Yeah. So they say, why people? But people be saying it all the time, though. I think anytime somebody get asked that question, even like you know, famous bitches, they be like, I like funny shit. Yeah, you like funny shit. You don't like that corner. Oh God damn, baby, what's up? What's going on with you? Or just some lying, some court. <laughs> like, be, like, ah, some funny like how that shit. look. Like, Come on. You know what I'm saying? All right, boom. All right, funny shit. Funny. Funny always shit. Want- some little cute shit. I, see, I'm I'm a fun person. Right, like right, before right, we right. want to take me on a date or something, I don't want to go out to eat. <laughs> right. We can go out to eat once we together and okay. eat or something. Or we can go out to eat after the fun date. Right. But we finna go play. So I could take you to American Dealer on your first date. Yeah, let go. McDonald's. Get some good as long as we got. Okay. So the car ride, I might not ride with you on the first date. Okay, cool. I'm not one of those. I'm not mm. finna act like you got to take me and buy me a hundred dollar steak for me to like you. Fat, fat. Cause fat. you might can't afford that hundred dollar steak. Cause I don't talk to people that can afford the hundred dollar steaks. Can buy three, four hundred dollar steaks, and right. I don't like them. Mm. They they corny. They just ain't it. They be corny. <laughs> they corny as fuck. They be corny as fuck. <laughs> I fit be lame. They be a little arrogant. They ain't told no funny jokes. Word. I don't fuck with you. I don't mm. care how much money you got. I don't care how many states you bought. You know, some females are like that. Not saying that I'm a date a broke ass nigga because it's not happening. Right. That's not happening. Um, But somebody that I like, he has to be somebody that I like. What if he a little broke? You know what I'm saying? No. Nah. Well, how, how much does a man... How much do he have to make a year? What's his salary got to be? I don't have a potential where he got to make a year. Uh, he can't <clears throat> work at McDonald's, but let's say he worked at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. He need to be the manager. Yeah, but fat, fat. He need to be in the white shirt. That's a good, like, 58000 a yeah, year. Yeah, you need to be you know in the white shirt. And right. then after you get that 58000 after you don't manage McDonald's, you need to be going to go try to manage some bigger. That what I'm going to be in your ear. Hey, babe, you don't did McDonald's for this long. You got all such and such. Right. Say, it ain't no other. Da, 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 you can go. Than me is you gonna match the bag though? Yeah, always. If, if we split the bills down the middle, let's start. We ain't gonna split the bill down the middle. I'm gonna help you. What you mean? Like we live here together? We ain't gonna split the bills down the middle. I will help you pay rent. Mm-hmm. You but helping you, gonna, you though? Like you helping us? I'm helping us pay the rent. Yeah. And then you gonna pay the utilities. Okay. And then I'm gonna handle everything else because uh, as a man, you're not going to go buy towels. You're not going to go buy detergent, soap, washing powder, all Touché. that stuff add up too. If you got a water bill that's only thirty five dollars, by the time I buy this big ass thing of Tide pods, yeah. that's twenty dollars. We spent the same twenty. Mm. And then okay. once I go add on to them washing pods with the um detergents and the soap and stuff we need, that's the other ten that you just spent on the water bill. See, mm. folks don't look at it like that. Mm. You got to make sure that that household is held down too. See, I ain't in the house with no ugly ass dishes. <laughs> a man ain't gonna finna go buy no dishes that look good. I'm gonna make sure we scrape it. I'm right. gonna go buy all the utensils for me to cook, all the pots and pans, all that. And I understand that you don't have to buy that every month, but the tissue and stuff you do. Yeah. Every mm. month, so we're basically spending the same money. So mm. that is fifty fifty. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Oh, that. you just you just you just got me with that. Yeah, you didn't think about that, huh? No, no, no. You just got me with that. <laughs> Cause they'll be th- they'll be saying that though. Yeah, they they good, like, you, yeah you gotta spend that money on that washing powder and stuff. That stuff every month you but gotta look, it's rebuy. The fact, it's the fact that, you know, women got the standard of like a man gotta take care of that business and we just gonna have the bread. And then they still might have their hand out too, like, I need to go buy this or go buy that, like well, I don't necessarily feel like that because in my last relationship, and and he better not mm. motherfucking lie. Hello. Don't stun on me. Um, <laughs> at any time that he may have fought, fell short of anything because he don't make me spend all my money, because it's a, we go half on the rent and mm. I pay all the other bills, whenever you fell short, I'm there. You ain't got to ask mm. me twice. I'm already see it. You got to, babe, you need, I'm going to be asking you. Before you even tell me you fall short, see, I'm I'm a verbal person. I don't assume anything. Right. I'm not gonna sit there and thank you good if you want. I'm gonna ask you, babe, you happy? Mm-hmm. You good? Is there anything I can fix as a woman, like in your life, like after that year change? Is there anything else I can fix? Cause people change over the years and people get too comfortable. Like if we've been together for five years, I'm not the same person I was at 20 that I am at 25. So are you still happy? Are you still content? Do you want anything different? So when he telling me he's stressed out or whatever going on. Bay, I got the water bill this month. Bay, I got the light bill this month. I'm going to go and take that stress off you. Because I see that, especially if you having it in that area. That's mm-hmm. just the type of woman I am. Have you ever dealt with a broke nigga? Yeah. 
Like how long did that? that (laughs) (laughs) How long did that relationship last? I used to stare at that bitch. (laughs) (laughs) It lasted for eight months. I had to beat him up. Yeah, the bitch. There we go. Demon time. Jesus Christ. Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? He cheated. Let's start there. He did not cheat. He wasn't a cheater. Okay. That's the thing. Okay. People always think that he about cheating. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a cheater. That was crazy. I had this boyfriend and he wasn't a cheater and my relationship lasted along with my cheater then. The nigga that went cheating. But he just was boring. Mm. He was he was handsome. He was very handsome to me, like I said. And he was very charming. So I think that he had got me at first with his charm and then he had acted like he sold drugs, but he was a Ronald. Oh no. <laughs> Man, one time I had on went over to the house and I'm just chilling in there with you and I keep hearing somebody coming in, keep asking you questions like, and you got the answer to these niggas. And I'm like, hold on, that ain't how that go. I ain't in the streets like that, but that ain't how that go. <laughs> so we got into one situation in you went to tell if I, oh, this ain't my, <gasps> I was like, oh my God, you don't lie to me all this time. So that's when I knew then he was a broke nigga, but mm. I was already liking him. Mm-hmm. We was already kind of staying together. Um, And I just want to be like, oh, you broke, get out. Cause that mean, I think I ain't really like you at all if I'm right. just with you for the money. But the whole time that I was with him, I tried to help you get to it, cause I'm a hustler too. Right, right. So I tried to help you get to it. That just wasn't your mindset. That was your ambition. So I had to move around you. But I've definitely dated a broke nigga before. Mm. My mama always told me that that's where I'ma go wrong. At. I'ma want to be in love for love and not for stability. Mm. Do you do you think being in love for love is the wrong thing? Is it the wrong thing? Yeah. Not to me. Okay. I think that if you really love somebody, you'll really listen to them. And if they really love you, they'll really want to see the best out of you. So your partner, if they really love you, they should be there helping you, motivating you, pushing you. And now mm-hmm. we all came up together and we still love each other. Like, I wanted a partner because straight out of high school, I dated somebody that was a dentist. Mm-hmm. So that mean they would got money, they right? Got it, they got it back. And so the way that he acted, I didn't like. He mm-hmm. treated me like a trophy. He treated me like... When I don't, when I say this, da, 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 or when I don't want you to do this, I ain't giving you that. So my mindset from there was to get with somebody that was on the same level as me, and we grew together. Right. So, right. and I wanted us to look back the five years after, the ten years after, like, damn, babe, we grew this shit from nothing type yeah. shit. And we got a bond. Like I said, we friends. We really love each other. We really locked in. We really can go through the fucking storm together. Because if I'm just with you for your money... When you ain't got no more, what the fuck I'm with you for? Mm. If it's just for the money and you went broke. Nah, Buki. Especially yep. if I don't know how to show you to get no more. Because a lot of females, they ain't no hustlers. They don't right. want to work. They don't want to do anything. So if that man falls short, what are you going to do? You're not a Keisha K.O.R. Mm-hmm. You're, 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 not, you're not trying to be somebody that's uplifting your man and saying, hey, babe, look, we can do this right here and that right there. They just looking at you like, <laughs> what we finna do? What you what you gonna do? And I still need me, me. <laughs> but no, nah, that's not me. That's not me. I that, really want to like you for real. That's amazing though, cause these these women is like they wicked, man. <laughs> they are wicked. All right, so um, how much money did you gotta have in your account, or followers, or you know productions? Do you feel like I made it? Like, what is that for you? You said how many followers I feel how like? How many I'm... followers, how much money, how many shows you done produced to the point where you say, I made it? Okay, well, this is my first one. I don't ever think that this is going to be a money amount to feel like I just made it. Right. Um, I feel like it's going to always be room for growth. Mm. But I feel like there's also going to be time for retirement. <laughs> And and still with my retirement, I still want to be making passive income. So the, then it still ain't enough. Um, I want to be that person in my family to take care of my family. Um, so I don't feel like it'll ever be enough. Um, I want, as far as followers, <laughs> the world don't believe in you unless you got followers. That what on. I figured out um, when I first wanted to start the show. They asking me how many followers you got. I don't think that matter. It called if, influence. If I got a mind, <laughs> if I got a mind, they can produce this show and make it great. I might not be an internet person. Everybody ain't people that just pull their phone out everywhere they go and record stuff and do all that. 
I am, <laughs> but not overly <laughs> obsessed, uh, obsessive with it. Would I like to be like a um, De'Ara Taylor? Hell yeah. But yeah. I think she got the time to. But as far as followers, I think people just put too much on followers, actually. Yeah. I mean, that's why I asked that question because some people put that, <clears throat> put value in that. You know what I'm saying? Versus putting value in the work that they putting in. Yeah, because some um, folks like be lies. Like, a lot yeah. of folks be for sun and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. Some folks will post something that they don't did months ago and act like that they did it today, today. and they ain't got that going on. <laughs> like oh, yeah. they might stretch a vacation for a whole year. A whole year you know for me wearing other folk still, clothes, other folk shoes, <laughs> going in these stores, acting like they bought something and ain't bought nothing. You just I don't see I don't see somebody before. Go in Sackville, ask yeah. them folk for a bag and walk around like they got stuff. Oh yeah, there. facts. I've seen that too. And but Come they on. got a million followers. Come on. Hundred K followers. It be the because ones, you got uh, these fake ass empty ass bags, well here I come with my three thousand followers, mm-hmm. four pocket full little baby. Come but on, y'all ain't be, showing me no love because be like I that. only got three thousand followers. That fucked up. It be like that though. I think um, we don't make them sacrifices that they do. You know what I'm saying? Like we trying to get to this money. Fuck they the trying internet. To get to the fame like, the and internet, they get to the fame first, mm-hmm. and then when you see them, they be like down bad. But they got yeah, so much. But they got pop- so much. <laughs> they don't they got, got somewhere go- going on in the internet. They might see me like, damn, you how you do? I like, I'm working fool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Twenty four seven. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that's just me. But some people just want that attention versus having a lucrative. Thing, yeah, having you know a lucrative. Saying? Yeah, I would rather have the and, money. Yeah, 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 like even now, like mm-hmm. I said, I wanted to be behind the camera on my show. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be on it. Everybody keep asking me, why don't you want to be on it? Why don't you? Because I didn't want to be on it. I wanted to be the producer. I wanted to be behind the scenes. Is Mona Scott on her show? Mm. No. Okay. I want it, and her show is still good. But I know people ask me that because. You got Natalie Nunn in front of the camera. You, right. So we got <laughs> Natalie Nunn in front of the camera that want to be on the same level as they cast members. See, that was yeah. another thing. Y'all got to respect me. Mm-hmm. And it ain't no, oh, I'm big dogging y'all, but hell no. Nah. Mm-hmm. I'm putting in my time. I'm putting in my money. I'm giving y'all a platform. I'm doing something for me and for y'all. Right. Like, and that's another thing. I didn't want to do something for myself. I wanted to be somebody that helped folks. When you help people, you can put people on. Then when you're a real boss. Facts. Then when you really out here having real emotion. And I feel like that when it came to that and the respect, they gave that. I didn't have to argue with them. I didn't have to fight with them. I didn't have to feel like I'm finna fuss with you about some shit on like because I said what I said mm-hmm. and I've learned how to work with my attitude. It was a lot of time I said what I said and walked the fuck off. And that and that and you gotta think that's behind the scenes, so it ain't for the or is that on camera? <clears throat> gotta watch some, the some, show. Some of them might be on camera, guys. Gotta, gotta watch, watch the show. show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Popping it. <clears throat> All right, so Last segment on the show, right? Uh, this is your commercial. Sell yourself to the people. For the people who don't know, for the people who do know, this is your commercial, P. Sell yourself. Go. Y'all know it's the biggest. Big P, a Big P production company. The producer of the hit show, yeah, hit show, Ghetto Fabulous on HHN TV Network. Make sure y'all go download the app. On your phone, on your TV, Roku, Android TV, wherever you can download the app at and download HHN TV. Make sure y'all tune in to Ghetto Fabulous. We up next. Period. On oh God. And that's who we outside with. Gone.